Right, Aleph Noor, here we go, try again. Day 12. I've recorded quite a few of these because I keep not doing it. <laughs> It'd be quite nice to show me winning. I keep losing the thread of what I'm doing, I keep getting interrupted and having to pause, and it's, um, and also I'm just quite shit at it most of the time. So let's have a look and see what we can do this time. So the phone is all set up in a rather strange gantry type way. Five cards a turn, pay to put them into play if they have a cost. Take damage for any leftover map power I can't use. Uh, and stuff, and do things written on the cards. Well, I've got nothing that gives me actual power. I got no zero casting cost stuff, so that is a bum hand. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have one source of power, a Tannist, a Helper, and, and nothing else that we can cast, so that goes. So this is not the most fruitful of starts. I might obviously have to redo this video. Let's have a look, here we go. All right, so a bowline is free to put into play, as is the wax candle. Hmm. Can't afford that. Getting that into play doesn't really do anything. <coughs> Got some power. I possibly not bother using it yet and see if I can use it for some bigger stuff, some bigger power cards. Let's have a look. What have we got here then? Oh, of course. And there's the cat. I have to pay for him if I can. If I can't pay for him, then I have to ditch everything and my whole turn is fucked. So I'm going to have to put him to play. I'm going to pay. Just discard my wax candle. My dribbly candle. To bring Akatoi into play. He doesn't do anything else. He's an interference card. And I have to deal with him before I do anything else in my turn. So I can put my Tannis. I've got three Tannis. So that would be enough to summon my magic wand. But the magic wand is in the discard pile. So that's not happening yet. That's nice. That's it, lets me name Artifact, Tannist, or Magical Power, and then I just turn over cards till one of those things pops out. And that's quite good for getting some key things that play, if I can play it right. I do like that. I can live without that for now, so let's just discard that. But I'm going to use those two. Discard those two things for their effects. Put the bell into play. Now, normally I want to try and hit the lodestone if I can, because that's a two-part, two-step bit of the of the, uh, of the major puzzle. Um, Charlie Ball's quite a good one to get it to free rather than pay the full seven for it because I don't want to pay the full seven if I can help it. Two, three, four, five. So what? No, oh, another wax candle. Another dribbly candle is good. Mirror is good when something's destroyed. That basically gets destroyed as well, and it also copies the destroy effect. So that could be a powerful way of generating stuff. I do want to keep those guys, so really. What have we got there? I know there are three wax candles and a bowline. There's two wax candles. One sacrificial lamb. Two salamanders and a devil and a half. Right, so there's no more magical power to hit with my... Though it'd be quite good to trigger that twice using the mirror. So I'm actually going to do that. Just any two of those. To give me power to cast the mirror. And that'll do. Because that'll get that'll get me a double hit, basically. So I get two cards. So now, when I can't draw enough cards to draw my starting hand for the turn, I must go into the next hour. So now, hour two, the curfew bell. So this is the second round, second hour, and the last hour that doesn't have interference cards added in. These are three that I shuffled at the start. And they're all a major pain in the ass, and they will start getting shuffled in one for each hour as we progress through the night. Interference indeed. So I need three more cards. One, two, three. Okay. We got the big boy himself, but he's not ready to come out just yet. I've got two available. So I'm going to use those. No, I like having three Tannis because that gets the Wand of Power out. 
and the lodestones there, so I don't really want to do that. So I'm actually going to do note. I want to try and get the one there if I can. We need to that one. One, two, three, four, five off the top of the deck. Another tannist. Two wax candles. So now I'm going to choose which one of these to keep, I think, if I ever get to cast my magic wand. Draw three cards is quite good. I quite like the fetch a card and also fetch a card and destroy it. That could be quite useful just to get rid of something shit that's encumbering me. Circle of protection destroys any artifact. Cursed hourglass is a bit of a gamble. But as long as I've got three talents in play, I don't really mind. So I could actually cast those two things. So those two for the circle and discard that tannist. Which I want to keep the fetch any and destroy it card for later. So I've got three tannists. So that's good. And that turn one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Still no sign. The brazier, that gives you magic power every time something's destroyed. That can get out of control quite quickly if you're not careful. Um, generating lots of stuff that you can't actually use. And then you take damage at the end of the turn. And if you take three or more damage, then you die. So, still don't want to get rid of those two. I don't want to get rid of any of those. Uh, lodestone is in the discard pile. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything else. So, let's just do that. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, there's the wand. Right, well, firstly, we can put that into play. I'm then going to play the Wand of Power, destroying these three Tannists. They don't trigger anything. But I now have a Wand of Power, so I can, I can discard the card to kill something of the same power or less. Kill as in destroy it. So that could be interesting. Hmm. I haven't got three. I haven't got three. I've got two even. So oh, it's so uh, risky with that. Let's have a quick look then, because I have I got salamanders are out. Lodestone, sacrificial. Oh yeah, all the big. Boys are out. So. Mm, do I trigger that? Mm. I don't know. I'm going to trigger the next round. <coughs> See what else is out, so. Baphomet and the Lodestone. I've got the wand. I've got the book there. So if I could find a way of casting that, I could trigger that, but then I'd be doing it twice with the mirror. Oh no, no, that's discard, not destroy. Ooh, and then the next card that gets destroyed, oh, that could be interesting. Oh no. That could be really horrible. I mustn't mustn't play one of those. Mm. Just gotta check. Just gotta check again. Has the bowline come out? I've got two, three. There's only three wax candles. There's a bowline. There's a uh, bowline. Yeah. So there's definitely a bowline which I could destroy for two with that, and then that gives me three. And then that would give me two because I destroyed it, which let me cast that. So I'm actually going to discard that. Draw two cards. Which, yes, so I've got to get rid of these, and I've certainly not got to leave this in my hand, otherwise I'm finished, I can't finish the game. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna use this ability I'm not even going to do that, actually. I can just use that, destroy that. Did just, oh no, because then that. Next time a card is destroyed, copy its destroy effect. 
so that would have to be destroyed first, which would trigger that, which means that would have to destroy an artifact. I don't want to do that, so I want to do this. So I want to use this, discarding this, to kill this, which gives me two magical power. This has to be destroyed as well. It gives me another two magical powers, four magical power. So I'm going to use three of it for the Book of Pacts. And then discard that and play for the one as two for the salamander. And then at the end of the turn, those two get destroyed. Okay, that's two pain in the ass cards out of my hand, actually. Okay, now we go into the third hour. Let's see, just check in on that. So this goes in the deck. Interference card. I got one, I need four more. Now this hour, the midnight, gives me a magical power. This is a permanent damage. The wand always gives me permanent damage. So if I take two damage in a turn, I'll die at the end of it. So I've got to not die. And I think that was quite useful to ditch a couple of shit cards out of my hand. One, two, three, four to go with that one. I've got a magical power available. Grand uh, Brazier. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I can't have more than six cards in play at the end of the turn. So let's put the brazier into play. I'm using that magical power for it. So whenever anything is destroyed, I get a magical power. So I'm going to destroy that salamander for three, which triggers the brazier, gives me a fourth. I spend for that. I am then going to destroy this gives me one magical power and I'm going to name artifacts so I'm going to get the first non-special artifact in play deck oh you fucker okay so I'm going to destroy that card to draw a card and immediately discard two cards but the destruction will give me that draw a card discard two cards and then use that two power to put the exercised water into play. And that's me scot free for the end of the round. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't get rid of this as part of the surplus of six. It just hangs around. So that can stay there for the moment. Three, four, five. So that's the card that was on top. Wax, wax. Now, if I get three or more power generated by that in turn, it gets destroyed at the end of the turn. So I need a way of getting rid of it, because otherwise it does tend to screw you right over. I don't want to do anything with that unless I can help it. How can I get rid of it? I could destroy it with that, but that really puts me... If I destroy it, I get three power. Okay, destroy it. But I have to chuck something away, so let's chuck that away to destroy it. Gives me two plus one is three. Discard that. Okay, we're still in okay. This these things go, these get destroyed in hour four onwards. That's four in total. So that allows me that will okay, that's the key bit for the grand circle. Five, destroying six, would, but I don't have it in hand, so I can't use it. Do I want to get rid of something from the discard pile with the exercise water? No, not just yet. One, two, three, four, five. Oh dear, right, here we go. Wax candle. So Baphomet is there. We have the Lodestone, Wand and Pacts, which means we have nothing here that we care too much of. Oh no, we do, the Grand Circle. I thought I can play that, but I don't have to discard that. Yeah, let's have to be careful now. Don't have the Grand Circle in play. Destroying that one. Rid of that brazier you now, that's a rope. I can't kill that. Is there something I can do? That salamander's a bit of an ass. Destroy any card in the discard pile. Mm. <laughs> 
this. Boom, that, but I don't have it in hand, so I'd have to push my luck, but then I've got that, which I don't want to have to leave in hand if I can help it. This is where it gets a little bit tricksy. I've got too much stuff. Okay, destroy this five plus one is gonna be six. So let's spend five on those two and one on the cursed hourglass. And then he can go. All right, the first vigil, which means from now on all the candles I play will be destroyed. And that's the dog at the door, is it perhaps? Or is it the guardian? He'll scratch his way now, whine and Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, f we are. Mm. Okay. I could play the grand circle because then I can, at the end of my turn, I discard cards and then everything goes and I've got enough there and just start getting rid of some of this stuff. So, how can I? Okay. Let's, I'm going to be putting this into play, so, one, it has to be destroyed, so it's two, three, four, five, and one is six. To play that, that puts one on. Um, if I discard that for three, it actually gets destroyed instead. So I've got five to spend. So one, two. One left over, I'm gonna die. Uh, so, put those out for free. Let's do this then. Boom. Guardian at the door again. His artifacts and tennis cost an extra one. So good, I've got the one left over there. Oh, he's a tennis as well. So I've got one, so that's one for that. So I've used all of that. End of my turn. Boom. After this guy is destroyed. Okay, this is where my timing goes shit. He was gone, by the way. I'm going to say the timing's in my favour, which means I draw Baphomet. So now I've got no way of getting rid of this shit. He would die because he generated more than three. Oh, Circle of protection. Destroy that artifact. Mm. Baphomet. God bless you, sweet master. In he comes. So, one, two, three, four. So firstly, I've taken two damage. So those all go, leaving him. And my score is one for that, two for that, two for that. Five plus one, six, five, four, three, two cards were destroyed by him. Two points. So I've survived. I've won. I'm a wizard. Barely a wizard. There you go. That's I'll have no. It's the first time I actually won, even with such a small score. It's the first time I've won in a long time. So 